first question is from Alexander. I'm 27 years old and hoping to retire somewhere between 65 and 67. How can I decide the right mix between large, mid, and small cap equities? From what I see on the web, small caps have performed the best since I have many years till retirement. It seems to me that I can afford to take the risk and have more of my money in small caps. Yet, advisors and the resources I found online shy away from having a large percentage in small cap companies. Also, my mother-in-law is about 11 years from being 67 and retiring. What's a smart mix for her? Well, Alexandra, let's start with the outperformance of small cap stocks. And those numbers often come from Ibbotson, which has numbers from 1926 to 2017. Over that period, small cap stocks returned about 12.1% compared to large cap stocks, which are 10.2%. So about a two percentage point difference. Um, the studies that sort of found these, though, even though those numbers go back to the 1920s, wasn't really until the 1970s that people began to sort of pick up on this. So then small cap investing became popular. And then from like the early 1980s to the late 1990s, small caps significantly underperformed large cap stocks. In fact, some people like Jeremy Siegel think that really there is no outperformance of small cap stocks. It's due to a couple of periods of like the 1970s when small caps did particularly well. Not everyone agrees with that. If you look over the last like 15 years, Small caps have outperformed, but over the last five years, large caps have outperformed. The main point is that we don't really know what the future will look like. For someone like you, I actually think it just makes sense to have an equal allocation to large, mid caps, and small caps, because we don't know what the future is going to look like. One issue is that the smaller you get, the more volatile the stocks do become, but since you're young, that's okay. You're talking about, I think you said it was your mother-in-law. For someone like your mother-in-law, I think it makes more sense to lean towards large cap stocks. They're less volatile, but they also tend to have uh, more of those companies are more likely to be paying dividends, which I think makes sense. Dividend paying stocks generally tend to be less volatile, but also once you're in retirement, it's nice to get that income. Yeah. And, and I would just say for anybody looking at small caps, and I don't, I don't know if we define that all the time for folks, but generally you look at stocks under $2 billion yeah. market cap, and then things above $10 billion are, are generally large cap, uh, large cap stocks. Yeah. yeah. And, and he is right in that when you look at, for example, the typical target retirement fund. So Morningstar does this report where they examine all the target retirement funds, the recent one, they looked at 49 series of funds. And they do find that, generally speaking, those funds have about two-thirds of their allocation to large caps and only one-third to mid and small caps. And I have to say, I don't know exactly why they do that. Um, I think it makes more sense to have a more evenly distributed portfolio allocation across all of those sizes. Yeah. Okay, so you're suggesting that... Did you did you offer up any percentages or no? You just said so lean I, in. Equal, so, equal. So I, I mean, I think but you you're could not. Go, but you're not. What about bonds though? Because you're not. Right. We'll talk about bonds later. Okay. Well, we later sorry. So just yeah. just looking at everyone. Stocks. Stay tuned. Stay We're going to talk about bonds later. Yeah. But if you're looking at just the equities slice of your portfolio, I think you can 30, go third 30, small. 30. Yeah. Third small. Third mid. Third large. 